Hey everyone, with this video, I want to focus on pastel like color grading in Lightroom Classic. And if you want to follow along, feel free to download the raw file from the link in the description of the video. And now let's begin. So for the pastel color grading, there are a few important factors. First, I want to lessen the contrast quite a bit. Then I want to focus on a few color tones, mainly orange, yellow and blue and kind of change their hue a little bit. Now I want to start things obviously in the basic panel and I'm going to change the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Standard. This already lessens the contrast, which helps us getting closer to our goal. Then for these pastel tones, I'd like to change the white balance as well. Right now you can see a clear blue color cast in this image. So what we want to do is to bring up the temperature, reducing that blue color cast, making the whole image a lot warmer this way. And I'm going to bring up the temperature quite a bit as you can see. So I think right around here looks really, really good. I'm not changing the tint. I think the tint is nicely balanced at this point. What I want to do next is to work on the exposure. For that, I'm going to bring down the highlights all the way, which will reveal these clouds in the sky. And these are kind of important. So we can actually see some pastel color tones up there. Also, we are reducing the overexposure in a very bright part of the sky on the left side where the sunlight is coming in. I want to further reduce the contrast of this image and we can do that by increasing the shadows. This will lessen the contrast by making the darker parts of the image brighter. And we actually need to do that because when you look at the histogram, you can see we are almost in, in the underexposure range. So I want to further work on this by bringing up the blacks and this further reduces the contrast. Again, taking a look at this again, we have some room left right here in the brighter areas. So I want to make use of that by bringing up the whites. This way we do bring back contrast to the image, but also it just makes everything look so much better when we stretch the histogram like this. That is looking good so far for the exposure. Now I also want to sharpen the image a little bit by bringing up the texture slightly. I'm also going to bring up the clarity which will boost the midtones contrast. And I'm going to bring up the dehaze just a little bit. So we are kind of dehazing the mountains in the back. Wonderful. And finally, let's bring up the vibrance and let's raise the saturation to give our image more color. And there we have the image after the basic adjustments. And let's compare to before real quick. And the one thing you can notice immediately is the color temperature, thanks to the adjusted white balance. So instead of having a very cold image, we now are working with a very warm looking image. Perfect for a sunrise scene like this. Now let's do a little bit of masking. I'm going to start working on that reflection in and the foreground using a linear gradient. And with this linear gradient, I'm trying to target just the darkest part of that reflection in the very near foreground. And in this particular spot, I want to have more contrast. So I'm going to simply bring up the contrast slider. And what this will do is it will make this area darker. It will also make the clouds in that reflection stand out a little more. And it just helps guiding the viewer's eye more towards the important areas of the image by making this area darker. I'm also going to add a bit of clarity to give those waves some more punch. Again, this will help making this area a little darker. Just like this looks perfect. We could adjust the gradient a little more, bringing it up a bit further. Okay, then I also want to create a mask for the sky. For this image, since we have a hard edge between landscape and sky, we can simply choose select sky and Lightroom should be able to create a pretty good selection here, as you can see. For the sky in particular, I want to have some more contrast to make the clouds pop. So I'm going to bring up the contrast slider. Just a little bit like this should be enough. And I'm also going to bring up the clarity for the same effect. This will make the clouds stand out in a very nice way. Let me deactivate the masks so you can see what I mean. This is where we started with. And here we have the image with those two masks applied, looking much, much better this way. Then let's introduce some glow coming in from the left side. I'm using a simple radial gradient for that. And I'm making it really, really long. 
but rather thin. I'm placing the center outside the image to get a more natural effect. And I want this radial gradient to reach one of these big mountains right here. I'm also making sure it's overlapping this little hill in the foreground. And let's push it a little further up like this. And to add the glow effect, all I'm doing is to bring up the blacks and I'm going to bring down the dehaze. This looks nice. Now, what we can do as well in this area is we can make the sky just a little bit warmer by bringing up the temperature. But I want to be really, really careful. I don't want to have too much yellow in this area, just a little bit to introduce just a tiny bit of warmth like this. Now, I do think the upper right corner of the sky could use some more adjustments. So let me create a linear gradient for that. Just trying to target these darker areas once more like this. And again, I'm using contrast to make the sky look better. And I do think I want to bring down the blacks, which will affect the darkest clouds mostly. Okay, this is looking good. Now I'm quite happy with the masking for now. Again, let me turn off all these masks to see where we got from before with the basic adjustments to this version, which is much more interesting now. Let's focus a little more on the color grading. So we want this image to have some kind of pastel color tone style. Let me open up the color mixer for that and I want to change the hue. As I said earlier, for these pastel color tones, what I like to target are the orange, yellow and blue color tones specifically. Now in the hue panel, what I want to do is to bring down the orange hue very, very gently. And this will make the clouds appear to be a little more pinkish. And these pink color tones are the colors I have in mind when thinking about that pastel look. I'm also going to bring down the blue hue just a little bit turning all the blue color tones of the image more into a cyan color tone, which again brings us closer to those pastel color tones. Now let's also switch over into the saturation tab. Usually I'm boosting certain colors of an image in this panel. However, for this look I'm creating right now, I want to bring down pretty much all the colors we're working with. So I'm going to drop orange. I'm going to drop yellow. I'm also going to drop the green tones. I'm going to drop them quite heavily since I really don't like their appearance in this image. The green color tones pretty much are throwing off the balance between the pastel tones of the rest of the image. So, so that's the reason for me to get rid of them. And finally, I also want to bring down the blue saturation just a little bit like this. Okay, this is looking great. Let me turn off the color mixer to see the difference from before to after. It's a very subtle change in the sky, but a quite big transformation in the middle part of the image. And here you can also see why those green color tones are not fitting for this scene. That looks so much better without them. Okay, then we can take a look at the color grading panel itself for the split toning. And again, I'm doing something I usually don't do. I want to start with the highlights. I want to keep them warm, but I'm going to use a very, very strange color tone to achieve that pastel look. Usually I'm setting up the hue in a warm range between red and yellow. This time, however, I want to go way, way higher, somewhere almost in the magenta range, right around here. And obviously we need to bring up the saturation, but only a tiny bit. We only want to have a very, very subtle amount of magenta tones for the highlights in this image. Then let's switch over to the midtones. Right now, I think this image has an overwhelming amount of warm color tones. So I want to balance it out with the midtones. And for that, I'm going to set up the hue to a color somewhere in the Zion range. This again fits those pastel color tones. And then I'm bringing the saturation up just a tiny bit, just like before with the highlights. Now, I don't think if I turn off the color grading, you will notice a difference due to the YouTube compression, but it really helps creating that pastel color grading. All right, then let's continue. One more thing that really helps for this kind of look is the calibration tab. The main reason here is once more the blue primary hue, which I always love to use in my edits. 
So let me overdo this so you can see what effect this has on the image. If I bring down the hue, you can see how the warmer color tones are shifting more into a purple magenta-ish color range and the blue tones will get even more cyan. So that's a really great slider for these pastel tones. Of course, we don't want to overdo it like this. So let's reset that and bring it down just a little bit. I think I'm going with something like minus 20. I'm also going to bring up the saturation a little here. And what I'm doing here as well is to change the red and green primary hue, bringing both up a little bit. And let's do green. Perfect. And there we have it. This is the pastel color grading I wanted to achieve. And we made that using only a little bit of Lightroom editing. Now all that's left to do is some sharpening in the details tab. And as always, I'm using the same settings by bringing down the radius all the way, increasing the details all the way up, holding down the Alt key while applying some masking. So we can nicely sharpen the mountain range. And now let's bring up the amount of sharpening. All right, and that's it. Now there are a few sensor spots scattered around the image. We could use the remove tool real quick for that. I'm going to click on visualize spots. So actually this doesn't really help in this case. Let's uncheck this setting. What I'm going to do with the heel brush is I'm just going to paint over all these little dots. And just like this, we have cleaned up the image. So that is the final version of this shot. Let me know what you think about this color grading. And if you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask in the comments. So thank you very much for watching this video and see you guys next time.